Lesson 9-1, angles, and in this lesson you learn to classify and measure angles. When are you ever going to use this? Knowing how to classify and measure angles helps a carpenter build houses. And look at the words that we are going to be defining in this lesson. You need to know all these words, and these words need to be in your notebook. Edges, vertex, angle, degree, protractor, acute angle, obtuse angle, right angle, complementary, and supplementary okay so have you ever watched a magician place a person in a box and then saw the box in half the edges of the front of the box look like two lines that meet at a point called the vertex so this is your vertex right here and these are the edges of your box so the edges uh, uh, basically the, I'm sorry the vertex is where the two edges meet Okay, so vertices and edges of a box form angles. So when you talk about the plural of a vertex, okay, more than one vertex, okay, will be called uh, vertices. So the plural, plural of vertexes is, is vertices. So vertices and edges of a box form angles. So if you have edges, right here on the box and that's your vertex it will form an angle so right here is an example of an angle where this is considered to be your vertex right there and these two sides are your edges okay we'll learn later on that they're also called rays but right now we'll just call them edges okay so now the definition the most common okay the most common unit of measure for angles is what we call the degree okay a circle can be separated separated into 360 equal size parts okay shown here so if this is your circle it's separated by uh, 360 equal size parts each part would make up one degree okay uh, as the one shown so this is one degree and there are 360 of them in our circle 360 degrees okay so that's the definition of a degree and uh, hold on there you go go back here okay we know that so we can use a protractor to measure an angle so to measure an angle such as the one that we have here let's do this two steps step number one this is your protractor right here you can also do this at home so it'll be better for you to have a protractor and a piece of paper and copy this angle in your notebook so you more or less can uh, do this with me as a uh, so that there is a better understanding on your part okay so if uh, this is our angle and we want to measure this angle step number one would be place the center of the protractor on the vertex of the angle with a straight e straight edge along one side what it simply means is this get your protractor see this vertex right here okay you will be placing your protractor okay at the center of that okay see that line that is the center of your protractor you place your vertex there and it says there uh, with a straight edge along one side so the straight edge will be along one side so my angle can either be on my I can use this protractor where I can measure my angle this way where the straight edge is on one side or I can measure this angle this way where the straight edge is also on another side okay then step number two I use a scale that begins with zero on the side of the angle so where your straight edge lies find the zero on your protractor so if I tilt this a little bit we find out uh, that my protractor okay the straight edge lies on this side of my protractor where the zero is in the inside part okay and says there read the angle measure where the other side crosses the same scale so basically I'm looking at the zero on the inside part and this is what I'm reading my angle with this scale right over here so as I read my angle right here if you notice right here as I go up that's 10 20 30 40 50 60 all the way up because 120 right here and since this is okay let me use this and make it easier so if you notice, I go up and go to that line right there, okay, 
and the angle, angle measure is 123 degrees okay so it's 123 degrees so I take out my pro oh, I take out my protractor and say that this angle now is 123 degrees now okay remember I told you that one side of the protractor uh, the straight edge of uh, the protractor should lie on one side of the angle so if I get the same protractor and instead of making it my uh, uh, making my straight edge lie on this edge I'm gonna make it lie on the other edge of my angle so I'm getting my angle I'm gonna tilt it now right there so one edge of my protractor okay sorry the straight edge of my protractor is now on the uh, is now on one side of the angle and then gets to follow the steps step number two means find the zero in this case now the zero is on the outside and that's where we read it so if I read my zero from the outside okay if you notice if I read my zero from the outside okay Start reading my zero from the outside. Oh, this is not accurate. Something wrong here. Okay. So I do this 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. If you notice, it's also 123 degrees. So it doesn't matter where you put your protractor for as long as it's on the straight edge. Uh, your st the straight edge of your protractor should lie on one side of the angle okay you will be getting the value or the angle of that uh, you, uh, of that particular angle you'll, you'll be getting the degree or the measure of that particular angle okay uh, let's take a look at the next concept that we need to cover angles can be classified according to the measures okay so let's take a look at the first classification first classification was what we call an acute angle an acute angle measures between 0 degrees and 90 degrees so that means it's uh, uh, no greater than 90 degrees and no less than 0 degrees okay so it's between 0 degrees and 90 degrees the next classification would be an obtuse angle Okay, it was between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. This is actually uh, this is actually not entirely correct. Okay, so an obtuse angle will be of an angle that's greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. Okay, so the the measure of an obtuse angle will be an angle that is greater than. Okay. Ninety degrees and less than one hundred eighty degrees. Okay, and that's what it says when it says between. Okay, so it's not equal to ninety. It's not equal to one hundred eighty. It's between those two numbers. It's greater than ninety degrees and less than one hundred eighty degrees. And finally, the last classification would be nine. Uh, a right angle this is exactly 90 degrees so going back here an acute angle is basically an angle that is greater than 0 degrees and less than 90 degrees so the word between that's what it means Okay, it has to be greater than 0 degrees, less than 90 degrees. An obtuse angle, it should be greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. And the right angle should be exactly 90 degrees. Okay, let's take a look at example number one. Okay, use a protractor to find the measure of each angle. Then classify the angle as acute, right, or obtuse. Again, this is our angle. And look at the protractor. Okay. The straight, uh, the, the straight uh, edge of our protractor lies on one side of our angle right here. 
and if you notice the zero scale the zero is in the inside part okay so the inside part of the protractor so we simply read the scale inside our protractor so when we read it okay you find out that it goes all the way to 65 degrees and since it's 65 degrees it's greater than zero and less than 90 it's an acute angle okay and if you look at example number two this is our angle right there and if you notice okay the straight edge of our protractor lies on one side of our angle this side right here and the zero part of our the zero degree uh, scale okay is on the outside part of the protractor so we read from the outside scale of our protractor okay so if you read from the outside scale this measures 135 and since 135 is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees this is considered to be an obtuse angle okay and next concept some pairs of angles are complementary or supplementary if the sum of the measures of two angles is 90 degrees the angles are complementary definition write this down that you will carry this with you all the way to high school the sooner you learn this the easier it becomes okay so if the sum of two measures is equal to 90 degrees the angles are complementary if the sum of the measures of the two angles is 180 degrees uh, the angles are supplementary okay let's take a look at these two these are considered supplementary uh, complementary angles because angle one the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is equal to 90 degrees and you need to know this uh, this early that when you have m and a little angle sign in one you read this as the measure of angle one m stands for measure that uh, this symbol represents angle and one is read as the number so this is the measure of angle one so in complementary angles the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is equal to 90 degrees how do we know it's 90 degrees because if it's that little square right there okay that indicates 90 degree okay so number two talk about supplementary angle supplementary angles is a measure of angle one plus a measure of angle two which is equal to 180 degrees how do we know it's 180 degrees because it's a straight line any straight line okay will give you a value of 180 degrees so if you have a straight line okay such as this one okay this is also known you'll uh, find this out uh, in high school this is also called a straight angle when you talk about a straight angle or a straight line the measure of that is 180 degrees so if you have a straight line the sum uh, the, uh, the, the angle measures 180 degrees okay and in this case you have a straight line but the straight line is divided into two angles why did that not right let me erase that undo undo so this is now your straight line and this measures 180 degrees right there and the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 will be equal to 180 degrees let's take a look at example number 3 uh, the secret word uh, for this particular lesson would be flip-flop the secret word for this lesson is flip-flop <clears throat> the angles shown in uh, example 3 are complementary if the measure of angle X is 36 degrees what is the measure of angle Y so this is the illustration of angle X and angle Y so we know if they're complementary that the measure of angle X plus the measure of angle Y is complementary okay so we know the measure of angle X is 36 we don't know the measure of angle Y but we know their sum which is 90 degrees so if we want to solve for the measure of angle Y we simply subtract 36 to both sides we end up with 54 so the measure of angle Y is 54 degrees and that's the end of our lesson thanks for watching